The Innovation Lab for Climate Resilient Cowpea began in September 2013 and is scheduled to end in September 2019, so we are now in our final wrap-up year. We are a team of faculty, staff, and students at the University of California, Riverside, with partner teams in four West African nations, Burkina Faso, Ghana, Nigeria, and Senegal. West Africa is where most of the cowpeas in the world are grown, mainly by smallholder farmers as their main source of nutritional protein. A major goal of our research is to develop improved varieties of cowpea to enable smallholder farmers to produce more food from the same effort. Each team in this innovation lab is fundamentally a breeding team. We make controlled crosses, we advance progeny through generations, we observe breeding lines in greenhouses and experimental fields. We produce and share seed stocks so that the same materials can be observed in multiple locations over multiple years. From the most advanced lines, we use farmer participatory evaluations. These activities target not only cowpea sole cropping systems, but also cowpeas intercropped with cereals since intercropping is common in sub-Saharan Africa. As geneticists, we find positions in the cowpea genome where favorable forms of genes exist. We adopted a technology from human research to create genetic profiles from DNA of cowpea leaves. We run three generations per year in this greenhouse at UC Riverside. By using genetic markers to select parents and progeny, we can achieve an intended genetic composition more quickly than without using markers. We include laboratory training on leaf sampling, DNA extraction, genetic data analysis, and other databasing and decision support tools. This is genome-informed breeding. We make use of natural genetic variation within cowpea germplasm. New varieties that become popular locally will likely also have regional importance and impact in neighboring countries. There are many challenges to the production of cowpeas in the drought-prone, often quite hot production zones of sub-Saharan Africa. One of the most pressing issues occurs when drought and heat make the plant more sensitive to attack by a fungal pathogen, Macrophomena phaseolina, the agent of ashy stem blight. This same pathogen species is responsible for a disease known as charcoal rot in soybean and maize. We have found substantial variation in tolerance to Macrophomena within cowpea germplasm. So the search for genetic tolerance to Macrophomena phaseolina as part of this innovation lab is an example of a search for a solution in Africa that may provide helpful insights to address problems in the USA as well.